name it as A B C D. Now you will be getting this line here. You are getting the front view for the first step A dash. Then you have B dash, C dash, and D dash. Take that same thirty degree inclined. Take this distance. Place it here. You see the distance is slightly more. Now it is across the corner. Earlier it was across the side. Now it is across the corner. So therefore the distance is slightly increased. So you are getting a distance like this. Place this. Now rename it as A one dash. Take this distance and place it here and name it as D one dash and D one dash. The last point, end point, is named as C one dash. Now project this. You will be able to get uh, a reduced length. Let's say A horizontally. Can be coupled with the A vertical, and you will get A one. Similarly, B horizontal can be coupled with the B vertical, you will get B one. C horizontal can be coupled with the C vertical. C horizontal, this is C horizontal, C vertical, so you will get C one. D horizontal and D vertical, you will get D one. You are getting a very perfect symmetrical shape. It ensures that you are going in the right path. So join A, B, C, D. Here the problem comes. You see your A, B, or B, C, or C, D. All four lines are of reduced length. You cannot uh, simply put the angle pi. So you have to do something more. So take uh, the 45 degree line. Take the 45 degree line. Place the 45 degree line with the true lens. You will be getting the true lens. You will be getting the path for it. Take the reduced lens. Then obviously you take the reduced lens and cut it on the path. So obviously you will be getting the shape like this. Now you can duplicate this particular object somewhere here. So you will be able to get the final view. How will you duplicate this? You have some squares, some triangles here. So what you do? You do the same triangle somewhere here. Try to duplicate uh, the object here by getting the shape. So what uh, we do? Say for example, you have these two points. Let us say A two and B two is known. Take this distance A one C one and make one arc. Take B one C one, make another arc. So obviously you will be getting this A one B A two B two B two C two. Similar way you can locate this D A D A one B one. Put A one B one by one arc, C one B one by another arc from C two. So you will be getting this shape. See the difference is only this angle. Here is your 45, but uh, now it is slightly more because the 45 is pi, and uh, the actual angle is beta. So afterwards you can do the usual procedure. Project this A, project B, project C. Then project D as well. Now get A horizontal. Then A vertical gives you A two dash. B horizontal and B vertical gives you B two dash. B two dash. C horizontal and C vertical gives you C two dash. D horizontal and D vertical gives you D two dash. Remember, you will always get a kind of symmetrical shape. Otherwise, your diagram might be wrong somewhere. The thing is, you just see the last point here also. You find one point touching the x-y line. So, what it means? 
the spire lamina is comfortably placed here in the corner position once you tilt this only one point is touching the x-ray line even at the final stage the same point is touching the x-ray line see now we are going to see the orthographic projection of solids it's a entirely a different approach see i have only one problem and i'm going to explain the entire concept one unit i'm going to cover within one problem so let us let us be really slow and uh, try to understand the basics and uh, you know it's basically a two inclination problem so normally one inclination is sufficient for you so things would be better if we will try more and more problems first uh, let's take the cube cube is of uh, 40 mm base side with the leading diagonal perpendicular to bp and parallel to hp first of all uh, once uh, you know the cube the base side is given everything is given cube uh, the basic uh, basically cube is a hexahedron so you have got all six squares so one side uh, base side it's more than sufficient and uh, another point is that uh, is given uh, you are going to just see the leading diagonal so first find out which one is diagonal and which one is leading diagonal then in your in your final stage final front view and top view you see your uh, leading diagonal of the cube that is given should be kept perpendicular to bp and parallel to hp here the cube uh, is placed uh, with uh, one corner on hp with one corner on hp so as we all know on the corner position of the cube so it is on hp so we start with the top view draw the top view first that you you draw the cube it's a square and plane in projection so first to take the uh, square in corner position so here the line joining the corner and the center of the plane must be kept uh, parallel to x y line remember the spire should be drawn in such a way that the line joining the corner and the center of the plane must be kept uh, parallel to x y line this is the center of the plane this is the corner so if you join it by a line you will get uh, the line parallel to x y line so obviously you will be drawing the cube so what happens in the front view you will have the height height is also the base side so take this side and place it here and complete the cube the required cube for the simple position is now ready so name them naming is very very important right so you can just name this object you got eight points here start with alphabets right a go clockwise right b here c here then d here at the inner part you can put the numerals this represents the points that are on the bottom bottom of the cube has got four points so name the minus 1 2 3 4 it will be very easy for you to represent the points in the front view so you take it this is your a dash here uh, you know b dash is not visible so try to put it below this line c dash is visible d dash is also visible put it above the line then here it is one dash is visible two dash is not visible three dash is visible and the uh, four dash is also visible see this is the diagonal of the cube diagonal of the cube is known then where comes the leading diagonal the leading diagonal is available here so with the center line try to identify the leading diagonal the leading diagonal is identified as 1 dash and c dash the line connecting the center line connecting 1 dash and c dash is the leading diagonal for this particular cube now we have to make it perpendicular to bp and parallel to hp but now it is parallel to bp and inclined to hp so therefore what would you do you take uh, one reference point 
Yeah, you identify this. Try to duplicate this so that first you will get uh, the position where the leading diagonal is parallel to both H and BP. This is inclined now. You make it flat. How do you make it flat? With the help of this perpendicular line, take this height, place it here comfortably somewhere here. Take the same height. It's very very important. Take uh, the right side distance. Yes, you can take the right side distance. Then take the left side distance as well. So now that you are uh, Leading diagonal is placed horizontal. It's placed now parallel to both HP and BP. So obviously you have the new point. This is C1 dash. This one is 3 1 dash. Join this. So try to join this by perpendicular line. It should be exactly perpendicular. It should be exactly perpendicular. So you will get the other point 1 dash, 1 suffix 1 dash. Try to draw another perpendicular line, just to draw one perpendicular line here. Here also you draw the perpendicular line. So the line that is projecting here should meet at the midpoint. So try to identify that midpoint here also, join it. So once you project uh, this particular point, this should pass through this as a condition. So try to project this. You are getting four lines. Good. So now try to finish this object. So this is the answer. We have the shape. Now the axis leading diagonal is placed. Try to name the object. This is 2 1 dash and 4 1 dash. Here it is A 1 dash, B 1 dash, and D 1 dash. Draw the horizontal lines from here for path 2 and D. Then this is for A 1 and 3 C. There's a single line that's coming out here. Then through D and 4, you draw another line. So as usual, find out uh, the shape here. Start with A. How to connect this? It's a very simple shape. Take A first, then go to B, then join with C, then join with D. Again you join D and A. Afterwards, start with 1, join it with 2, then join with 3, then go to 4. Once again you join it. See, there is a line exists between A and 1, B and 2, C and 3, D and 4. So this is how you have to connect. You cannot connect uh, B and 4. You can't connect C and 1. D and 3 is not possible. So you must be very very careful. So now look at the point A horizontal. A vertical is available here. You will get A1. B horizontal and B vertical, you are getting the point B1. C horizontal and C vertical, obviously, you know, it's a regular shape. You can just write it as D1 even without seeing the diagram. See, B horizontal and D vertical gives you D1. Now, take 1, 2, 3, 4. One horizontal and one vertical. This is one horizontal, this is one vertical. So you are getting 1, 1. 2 horizontal and 2 vertical, you are getting 2 suffix 1. Obviously, this point is 3 horizontal and 3 vertical. You see, 3 horizontal is available here, 3 vertical is available here. See, the only point uh, that is lying on the HP is 3. That 2 by a corner, a corner point is.